All right, in this video, we're going to be solving linear systems of inequalities by graphing. So in the previous videos, we've been solving linear systems of equations where we had equal signs, and now we have inequality symbols. So we'll uh, solve these by graphing again. So the first thing that we have to do is graph each of these lines. So I'll graph this one in blue. The y-intercept is a positive 2, and then the slope is 1 half, so that's up 1 over 2 and up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Put that line in. Um, actually, I can't do that because it's dashed. So it's greater than, so it needs to be dashed. Can't put it as solid. So this one should be shaded above, thinking back to when we worked with linear inequalities uh, just one linear inequality at a time. Greater than means shaded above. So I just put, I'll put some arrows like this to remind me later that that's shaded above. Okay, now this equation in red, notice this one has greater than or equal to, so I can use a solid line when I graph it and it'll be shaded above. So its y intercept is this negative one right here, so plot that in, and its slope is negative one, so it's down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. Work it back this way as well. So plot that one in solid, like this. All right, and then we said that is greater than or equal to, so solid line and shaded above. So shade above shade above, shade above. Okay, so now I'm looking for the zones where they, the shading is shared. Okay, the shading is shared above the blue line and above the red line. So my answers lie within this section up here. So any ordered pair inside this shaded zone or on this section of the solid line here would count as a solution to this system of linear inequalities. The any ordered pair lying directly on this dashed line does not count. So make sure you understand that. Any point lying down here on this solid line does not count. It has to be either on this part of the line, realize these lines go on to positive, or go on to infinity here, so the shading zone continues well off the grid here but it must be either on this section of this solid line or within the shaded zone to count. So for example, this ordered pair right here of negative two six would satisfy both of these and count. This ordered pair right here at three comma five would count. It would satisfy both of these. An ordered pair here or here or down here or over here would not count. It would not satisfy both inequalities, therefore that would not be a solution. So the infinite set of points in this shaded zone or on, and also included on top of this section of the line count as solutions to these two linear inequalities. All right, second example here, solving linear inequality, systems of linear inequalities. So this one we'll graph in blue. Y-intercept is positive three, slope is positive one, so up one over one. Put that in. That one is less than or equal to, work backwards as well here, put some more points in. That one is less than or equal to, so it is a solid line, and it would be shaded uh, below. So solid line, and then we'll put arrows down like this, denoting that it should be shaded below. All right. Next one, y is less than negative 2x minus 3, so we'll graph that one in another color. We'll use red. So y intercept is negative 3, slope is negative 2, slope is negative 2, so that's down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. That one is less than, so it must be dashed. And that one would be shaded below. So the shading where it shares, where they're both shaded in the same direction, below each line, that would put the solution set inside this shaded zone. So 
So any ordered pair that lies within that shaded zone or on this section of the solid blue line would satisfy both linear inequalities. A point out here, not, would not satisfy a point. Even though it's on a solid line, it doesn't satisfy both linear inequality, so it wouldn't count. It wouldn't be a solution to the linear system. But any ordered pairs in this shaded zone or on this section after the intersection of the two lines of the solid blue line would count. And remember, these lines go on to infinity, so the shaded zone and the solutions that lie within continue on to infinity um, there. So it's not just on the grid. The lines continue well off the grid. All right, let's move to the next example. All right, in example three, y is greater than x plus one, y is less than x plus two. So solving systems of linear inequalities, we'll do this one in red. Y-intercept is one, slope is also one, so up one over one for the points. Work backwards here as well, let's get some more points in. That one is greater than only, so we need to put it as a dash, so I'll actually just leave all these ordered pairs here. Counts as a dash line. All right, and then we'll graph this one, second one in another color. Y is less than X plus two. So its y-intercept is at plus two and its slope is parallel with the other one. So it's gonna be just above it. This one's gonna be hard to shade actually. So dashed as well, just like the other line. No equal to symbol underneath. So the shaded zone would be below below the blue line, so down here, and above above this line, above the red line. So it's actually this very small little shaded zone between the two lines right here. So that is a very thin zone where the answers lie. So being on either line does not count. It just has to be an ordered pair between the two. Any ordered pairs between those two lines are the shaded zone. So a very thin shaded zone there. All right now for example four. In example four, we want to graph these to solve these this system of linear inequalities, but we don't have y by itself. We don't have it in slope intercept form, so we need to fix that. So I'll take this line, do it in red. So 2x plus 3y less than or equal to negative 9. So we want y by itself. I'll take the 2x over to the other side, and it becomes negative. So 3y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 9. Divide everything by that 3 there, and we have y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 3. So that one's taken care of. Let's do this one in blue, bottom one. So we have 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Take the 2x over, it becomes negative. So negative 3y greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. Now we're dividing by a negative here. Remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative across your inequality, you have to flip the inequality over. So now it's going to face this way. So y is less than or equal to positive 2 thirds x plus 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 3, positive 2 thirds. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus 1. Okay, so let's graph each line. So the red one, back to the red one, this one. Y intercept is negative 3. And down 2 over 3 for the slope. Down 2 over 3 for the slope. Down 2 over 3 for the slope. All right, and we would do the opposite here to go backwards, so I'm going left, three and up two. Okay, so there's that line. It is solid because it has an equal to underneath the inequality. So that one's like this. It goes on forever in both directions, don't forget that. And now the second line over here. So its y-intercept is positive one and its slope is up two over three. So up two over one, two, three, up. 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, so down to left 3, down to left 3. Okay, this one also has an equal to underneath, so I can put it in as a solid line. 
Okay, the blue one is supposed to be shaded below. That's where its answers lie for it by itself. And then the red one is also shaded below. So the sections where they are share uh, the shading below would be in this section. Do it in pink here, in this section right here. So below the blue and below the red lies in all of this section here. So any ordered pair in that shaded zone or on this section of the blue line or this section of the red line would count and make satisfy both of those linear inequalities. So the solutions to this linear system of inequalities is in the shaded zone or on this section of the blue, this section of the red. All right, now example five. Y is greater than or equal to 4x plus 1. Y is less than or equal to negative 3. So we'll graph this one. The Y is by itself, so we can graph them directly. And we'll graph this one in blue. So y-intercept is 1. Slope is 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 4 over 1. All right. And it can be a solid line because of the equal to underneath the inequality there. Greater than or equal to. So we'll put that one in. Oh, redo that. Okay, and then that one should be shaded above. So I'll go ahead and put my arrows above like this to remind me to shade it there in a moment. And then this one, y is less than or equal to negative 3. This is y only. y is always negative 3. So that one is a horizontal line through a y value of negative 3. It is less than or equal to, so it's okay to make it solid. And less than means shade it below. So this one would have an answer. Uh, the solutions lie in the shaded zone down here. And remember the shaded zone keeps going in all directions not in all directions, but along those lines as they go on infinitely. So these arrowheads mean the lines go on forever, so the shaded zone continues on. So even though a point may lie off the grid that you're graphing on, like this green point, it would satisfy this solution. Uh, it would be a solution to this system of linear inequalities. Number six, y is greater than negative 2x minus 3. So, y intercept negative 3, slope down 2 over 1. So, plot those points in. Okay, it is greater than, so it needs to be dashed, so I'll just leave it with the points that I put, and I'll put some little dashes in between. So it's greater than, so it would be shaded above. So those that, for this linear inequality by itself, that's where its solutions lie. Now we'll look at this one in red. So its y-intercept is positive three, its slope is negative two, so down two over one, down two over one, down two over one, down two over one. Okay, and it's greater than or equal to, so it gets a solid line. And it is shaded above. So this one is a little bit different than any we've had yet. So the shading above the blue line and above the red line, well, it has all the solutions are, whoops, I'm going to use this shading tool. So it would be all of this up here. So it's not always between the two lines. You have to understand that you can't have situations where it's not between the two lines. So any ordered pair up here, up here, up here, even on the red line counts. Anything over here would not. Anything on this line would not. Anything only above the blue line would not. It has to be basically everything above the red line or on the red line counts as a solution to the system of linear inequalities.